another, in fact this is the last before that I'm filming for Mr. James, this Electrolux Twin Turbo, which is basically one of, probably not the last, but certainly getting on for one of the last 500 series style vacuums that Electrolux did when they cheapened the design, sadly. But that doesn't mean that this little cleaner doesn't deserve a good old fettle, which is what we should give it. But first, we need to have a look at how it works now. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Electrolux Twin Turbo, we are still made in Britain. We have edge brushing. Um, we have an on off switch at the top. <laughs> Height control on the side, <laughs> that is literally it on this machine. This is, I will have a look at the rating today actually, this is why I go too much further. See if I can date it. So we have a Z522 from I think week 25, 1988. So this is one year younger than me and I don't often say this but I think I am in better condition than this vacuum. So we have a completely different handle to the 500 series of your one piece molded on quite sturdy actually it it feels a bit weird after I've, I've, I've never had one this new and I, I am used to the proper 500 series it feels a little bit weird but the handle's nice the bag door mechanism is the same what have we in here we have a much simplified bag fill mechanism we have no bag fitted Oh, let me, oh gosh, wow. Right, this hasn't had a bag fitted. I don't think James has done anything with this since he bought it, so I'm not gonna blame James. For the state of this filter, crikey, that's, oh, you can't see that, I'll have to move the camera. Oh, you can see the writing now. I reckon this is gonna wash up. I'm gonna put this filter through the washing machine. I do have spares if it doesn't clean it up. But we'll see how well you clean it. Because the problem with the 500 series is they're very difficult to get filters for now. They are out there, but they are old stock and they're not genuine either normally. They are old pattern stock. Once they go, that is it. You cannot get filters. There's a plastic cage filter at the bottom of here that screws in. Then what I just pulled out is the top one. So there's going to become a point where you cannot buy filters for these unless you're very lucky and pick one up second hand. I have a few that I bought a while ago that I try not to use. And in fact, there are some here that, that James has given me to use on this machine, but I don't think I'll need to, I have to say. And they are just pattern part, generic. That's a used one. These are washed. They're normally what you get now, generic white filters. So they are out there, catch them quick, because once they go, I don't think they've made them for years. So they're something to be a little bit wary of with these, but say I, they do wash up quite well. So we'll wash those so I can show you how they look like. Moving down, we have the generic, -y. this hasn't changed. That's where you put the hose. I don't have a 500 hose, so I cannot show you. And then if we recline the thing, I'll show you underneath, which is filthy. I'll be honest, we have the, that's the suction hose, two wheels, two rear wheels, a brush roll that is going bald. There are no, if I don't be closer and show you the brush roll, Put you in shaky handheld mode for a second. If I just turn the light on on my camera, you can see the complete lack of brushes on quite a lot of this 
Bosch bar, they're okay-ish. So we need to put new brush strips on. I had brush strips anyway, but I have been given more. So that's okay, we can sort that. I've basically got all the parts I need for it. We've got bags. We have belt, or well, a belt, that's good. We also have this warranty paperwork, look. And I don't know what the days. Oh, January 1984, look. Electrolux bonus cover. Peace of mind for a few pence a week. Oh, I wonder where my local... It would be Wembley, I think. Maystone, Manchester. Oh, you know, High Wycombe, look. But if I called that number now, Electrox wouldn't answer. And for £14.95 for four years, that's good. Managed by Hay Fielding Management Limited. Underwritten by Lloyd's. There we go. So we could have the bonus cover. No instruction manual, sadly, but you don't need an instruction manual to look at these we'll keep a bag out because i want to turn this on so that's the mess from the filter just there and i've got some dirt actually that we can also put down but so there's underneath let's turn it on and things go downhill a little bit here because this old thing isn't in the best of shapes <laughs> There is definitely a dodgy bearing somewhere and I've had the brush roll out. When James was here, I lobbed the brush roll out just to see if I could pinpoint it. And it is definitely coming from the motor. So I'm hoping it's the top bearing because you can service those. You, I won't be able to do anything with the bottom bearing. So we shall wait and see. But the brush roll spins. If I just... Oh. Not terribly well, but it does spin. If I lift you up a little bit, we shall fit a bag. We'll lob a paper bag in, and I might chuck some up. Pop some mess down. And we'll see if this can clean it up, because this is healthy anyway. Why not? Hey, I haven't done it on any of the other before videos on, for Mr. James. You must well do it on the worst one of the lot. I'm sick of it, no carpet mode. In fact, yeah, no carpet mode. See if it can clean up this little bit of mess. I can't feel it covering the carpet at all. something metallic -y, not quite right with that motor but it's opened the bag out so it has suction our dirt will be nicely contained in the bottom of there but we can do a quick suction test because get that back on I can stick my hand up its bum There is some suction, not a lot. It also has a fabulous Ever Ready plug, which sadly is broken and will need to come off. I like those Ever Ready plugs. I think also the cable grommet is a little bit, well, it might be high actually. I don't know, it seems a bit loose, but it could be a different grommet to the 500 series. Just wind the cable up off camera, sorry about that. Presumably it's the original cable. I don't actually know if they were black or if it's been replaced, but 
There we go, this machine should, out of all of the ones that I have done, come out the best, if I may blow my own trumpet slightly, just because it's the worst. And hopefully, it will come out all right. But there we go, we shall find out another day, another time, when I show you the after video once I have done it. So this is all of them filmed up now. Let's get working. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.